Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to teach you how to add options to your slash commands. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to come to your register dash command file, because this is where we have all our commands stored. Now, in our case, we're actually going to have to remove all of these commands and we're going to have to add a new command, which will have options. So let's do that. So let's open up an object and as with our previous commands, this command is going to have a name and let's call this add because it's going to be adding two numbers. And the next thing is the description, which is adds two numbers. Now, if we just save this file and we run the register dash command file by doing node source slash register commands dot JS, it's going to register the commands and let's go back to our discord server. It has the command add, however, it doesn't actually have any options. So let's work on that. To add options, we can add the options field over here and there can be multiple options. So this is going to be an array of objects. So each option is going to have a name. So in our case, we can call this first number. Now you should know the name of options cannot have spaces and I believe they all need to be lowercase, just like the name of the command. This also takes in the description, which in our case is going to be the first number. And the next thing is the type. Now, what do you add in the type? Basically, the type can be a string, a number. In our case, it's going to be a number. However, it can also be choices. And I'm going to get to that in a bit. However, to add a type, we're going to have to import something from Discord.js, which is going to be application, command, option, type. And we're going to add it over here. It's going to be application, command, option, type, dot. And we have a bunch of choices. So in our case, we need a number. Now, once we do that, we can add another option. So let's just copy this object and let's call this second number. And this is going to be a number as well. So let's save it and let's run the file again. Now, once it's registered, let's go back to our Discord server and let's run the add command. Now you guys can see it has the first number and the second number. However, both of these are optional as you guys can see and we want that to be required because without that our command isn't going to actually work so back in our code we can actually add a new field which is going to be called required and this is going to be a boolean so you can set this to true or false however by default it is set to false so let's add this to the second option as well and let's save it and let's run the file again once it's registered, let's check the command. And as you guys can see, both of these options are actually required. Inside of our index.js file, we actually want to listen for the command add. So let's change this to add. And in our case, we want to get those options, those two options that we add over here. So in our case, the first number and the second number, we want the values from both of these options. So how do we do that? We can say, const num1 and num1 is going to define the first number equals to interaction dot options dot get and then you can add a string and the string needs to exactly match what you kept in the name so in our case it's going to be first number so let's add that and we can do the same for num2 and let's do second number once we have defined both of these Let's see what they return. So let me just console log one of them, which is going to be num1. So I'm going to say console.log num1 and let's save that. Once your bot is online, let's try running the command. And this should return an object. In our case, what we are interested in is of course the value. So let's copy that and let's chain it. And we can do the same to num2. Now we know the value is going to exist. So we can just add dot value like this. However, if you set the required to false, then make sure to add optional chaining so that your application does not crash. So what we can do is we can reply to the interaction. So let's say interaction dot reply, and we can say the sum is num1 plus num2. Once our bot restarts, we can try running the command again. So add 5 plus 5 and it says the sum is 10. Now let me show you how you can add choices to your options. So head back to register-commands.js and inside over here, what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a new field called choices. 
and this is going to be an array so let's create an object inside and this is going to have two fields name and you can name this whatever you want i'm going to call this one and it's going to have a value and in our case we're going to give it a value of the number one we can duplicate this and we can add another one that says two it's going to have a value of two and we can duplicate this again let's say three and let's set the value to the number three now let's save this and let's run the file so i'm going to say node source slash register commands.js once the commands are registered we can run our bot so i'm going to say add and the first number is going to have a bunch of choices we're going to have one two and three so let's just choose two and the second number we can add another value like five so in this case we're expecting seven so let's hit enter and we're gonna get seven back and that is because we had the value as an integer so make sure you always respect the type when you're adding choices so if your type is number make sure your value is also a number likewise if you set this to a string make sure you change this to a string as well as all the other options so this was the basics of how to set up options in your slash commands if this video helped you out then make sure to like and if you guys are enjoying my content then make sure to subscribe thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one